with everything that we are currently going through in this world right now, from people losing their lives, people losing their jobs, raging wildfires, extreme floods, severe storms, it seems like the world is just collapsing right now. And in that process, it's easy to lose hope. But this video right here will hopefully restore your faith in humanity. Like when these prisoners put their unique skill set into good. Is that stressful? <laughs> Thankfully, this baby is just fine. And I on several of my previous videos, I mentioned how flowers are literally the food for the soul. And this first year doctor recognizes that after a long shift at work, she's determined along with a bunch of volunteers to collect all the leftover flowers from weddings and bring them to a local hospital to show patients that they matter and they are loved. When she was asked what was her purpose of doing all this, this is what she had to say. It's the feeling that they evoke, uh, the sense of happiness and joy and the reminder that other people are thinking about you. I really admire her compassion and respect her commitment. Back in 2019, she started this organization she called the Simple Love Flowers. We're trying to comfort the people who are staying in the hospital, who may be there for weeks on end. Thank you so, so mm -hmm. much. Sometimes we truly never know what people are going through and may not have the family support. But meet this lady who got her flower in 2020 while she was recovering from a heart condition. Hear what she had to say. Thank you. You're so, so awesome. It's just such a big deal. By finding a second life for the flowers that would normally go to waste and bringing them to patients in a very meaningful way allows us to spread love and spread joy throughout the hospital. This right here is the definition of unconditional love. This dog right here is protecting and making sure that this disabled man crosses the street safely. These prisoners saved this deputy who was having a cardiac emergency. He was breathing heavily. He wasn't moving the way he normally moves. And their biggest indicator is they said he took off his hat. Deputy Hobbs always wears a hat. And he took his hat off and he was really sweating and he was fanning himself with his hat. So the, de the inmates already had an idea that Deputy Hobbs wasn't feeling well. When one of the prisoners saw the deputy fall off the floor and wasn't responding, he immediately started banging and eventually all of the prisoners were banging and calling his name. He didn't realize he had passed out. He had no idea that he had suffered an emergency. And he could hear deputy, deputy, deputy Hobbs, deputy, deputy. And that's actually what woke him to the point that he was semi-conscious. And I think he looked up and he saw the inmates in 617 who had a direct you know, line of vision with him now that they were in their window looking down at his desk. And he popped their door open. Same goes for me. Uh, maybe I was very respectful because in the unit every night respects every guy in here and every guy respects him back. And so we didn't do anything to make your hearts that he would not have done for us. And there's not a doubt in my mind. He's a wonderful man, a good officer, and we're thankful for him. And we came up home to get back to work. Much respect for these prisoners for saving that officer's life. And no matter where you are in life right now, no matter how difficult things might seem, always sought to make a difference in someone else's life. This very inspiring stories between these two co-workers all started from one conversation and both of their partners had kidney failures and needed a transplant. I asked, well, what's his blood type? And she told me that it was O negative. And I thought, well, what do you know? I'm O, I'm O positive. I, I think that could match. So my next natural question was, well, what's your blood type? And she said that it was A positive. And I was thinking, right, is A positive. In exchange, they both donated their kidneys to the other spouse. I wish I could tell you it was this really gut-wrenching 
decision that we had to ponder over. There was no hesitation or doubt or any trepidation whatsoever. About four months later, both of the husbands seemed to be perfectly fine and got a second chance in life, all because of one conversation. This dog right here was stuck and hopeless, but thanks to these firefighters who came to the rescue, police officer who was retiring couldn't help but cry a little bit when his son gave him a final send off. It was enormous pride that today, December 30th, 2019, I, his son, badge number 328, deliver your final call. Today you receive many thanks. The department thanks you and I thank you for being the best role model a restaurant customer decided to give an outrageous tip to the waiter, which he really appreciated and it changed his life. I'm going to give you your, your tip right here. That's $100. You just paid off my car, sir. Keep it nice. Don't let people frustrate you. Here you go. Here goes another $100. You know what? Let me do good there. Here goes another $100. A guy in a scooter decided to stop traffic to help this older lady cross the street safely. Although this may seem like a very small act, but this right here will probably encourage so many other people to be kind and spread love. This archer could have easily won this match, but when his opponent's equipment started to fail, he decided to forfeit the game and not even try no more. This man rescues a baby there from flood water. What are you doing? I don't know what to do with them. I can't just <laughs> leave them. Oh my God. Poor guy. Alicia Williams spends her spare time cleaning gravestones of complete strangers. This is beautiful. Bellhop CEO of a company buys a car for his employee who walks for miles just to be punctual at his job. I'd like to give you this car right here. Um, today, like right now. Hey. Oh, so much. This nurse went viral for singing to a cancer patient to calm her down. Oh, you promise me you'll sing it to me? I hope you dance to me. In a 4th of July parade, this young boy notices a guard's shoe untie and he couldn't resist it and he went and helped. This elderly lady's car was literally surrounded by floods and she couldn't get in but this guy decided to assist by using his truck. This guy put a smile on this homeless man's face who wasn't actually able to buy a new pair of shoes in a very long time. This biker stops his bike to help rescue a kitten. 
it is the small acts of kindness that makes the most difference. Stranger helps teach a young boy how to skate, who he actually don't even know. This man performed an act of kindness by surprising the FedEx delivery driver who works very hard. Most of us already realized that the Queen's guards are very strict, but they decided to make this young boy's day by giving him a surprise for his birthday. Salute this firefighter who saved this dog from flooded water. Security camera captures a man helping a dog, keeping him warmer by placing a blanket over him that he found earlier. My friends, I really hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Comment what you think about it. And of course, subscribe so next time I upload, you do not miss out. I really appreciate your time.